Let's stay. Welcome to Powerhouse to Roll. I'm Energy Goddess. Welcome to my little growing channel. All right. <clears throat> Just a channel message. So on the pre-shuffle or the pre-pull, I got this card is a maze, I believe it is. Oh, well, emphasizing something that something that I feel like something you're gonna dig a little deeper with, dive a little deeper with. We got the lilies. And the birds. Something you're going to have to dig a little deeper. I feel like there's some sort of good news though that is coming out. The way these came out. It's like so, there's some sort of good news. But there's no escaping that. There won't be any shortcut to success is what this emphasizing here. With this card. The very first card. So there's something that's coming. It's going to bring you good news. Whatever process. Whatever direction you're going, right? It's going to bring you good news. But there was just an emphasis on no shortcuts on success, okay? Got to do the work. You got to do the work. Journey at the bottom of the stack. Journey. Journey, okay? It's all about the process, okay? You don't have to take a shortcut. Okay, I feel like somebody feels like, oh, I want to do something, take a short route, or doesn't have to take this long, or something like that. Somebody could be saying, yeah, just some sort of good news or communication, some something arriving. Somebody could be waiting on communication from somebody as well. Somebody also could be holding back on communication with someone. It's like I'm getting someone doesn't know how to exactly um, express what it is they want to say. You might have somebody speechless, like tongue tied. I just heard that they they speechless actually. Usually they have a lot to say, and for this, some reason right now they don't know what to say. So if you're waiting on communication from somebody, this is why. about thoughts yeah i told you it's like this person is thinking about how to say whatever it is they need to say communicate whatever they need to communicate 30 32 the moon could be possible pisces energy it doesn't have to be cancer despair somebody might too they might be in despair and like they don't want to communicate because they're not feeling their best self just period they feel trapped in this house wherever they are or they feel trapped in their environment Some sort of good news coming to somebody who is in a trap situation or who who is. I don't want to say locked away, but this could be for somebody. Someone who's locked up. Yeah. There's a, it's like somebody's going to be getting out of that trap situation and meeting up with someone. We have the park out again. So somebody's going to be getting out and traveling and meeting someone. Could be at a park. Could be at a, like, um, you know, somewhere public type of gathering. Bad health. Yeah. Somebody is definitely not feeling good. So this is why someone is, there's failure to communicate right now. The good news. They're just not feeling themselves these days, okay? Well, let's dig in. Let's talk about it. Let's get it right here. What's going on?
devil. So somebody could be right now facing a, a, a obsessions or addictions like that could be really be fucking up their health or something. I'm getting somebody has like a bad, I want to say pancreas or like kidney. It's like drugs are affecting them terribly now. Somebody's been taking a um a tough situation really, really hard. Okay. It's hitting really hard. And this person could be going back to past addictions or obsessions or things that weighed this person down from the past. So this person is trying to come out of this energy. This person is trying to learn. Um, this person is trying to work their way through this situation. It's very tough for them to do. As far as when it comes to this addiction or some real shit, five of cups. This is something from the past that um, they used to uh, dibble and dabble or something like that. We deal with in the past. Coming back up right now. This is retrograde energy. So, I mean, things from the past are coming back up. To see how well you have adjusted. Okay. And that's good old Mercury, right? How has the adjustment been been going, okay? And if you say so, let me test you. Let me see, right? So, it's not, it's neither good nor bad. It just is what it is, you know? And that's what Mercury retrogrades bring us. So, I feel like this person, though, they're going to heal through this situation. They're going to... They already have it within them to heal through this situation. They already have it in them. They, they just are choosing. I'm getting this person is choosing sorrow. Like choosing. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes unfortunately it, that's the reality. You know, we'll, we'll choose that for ourselves. And guess what? So shall it be. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Ooh. Yeah, four cups. It's like. People could be like trying to uh, cheer this person up and things like that, but it's like this person is in budget. I feel like this person has a lot to look forward to with this uh, Four Cups as well. Things in the future, but this person is just wallowing in um, sadness somewhat here. Okay. And they're so blocked right now. You know what I'm saying? They got the will of fortune. Because, like, whatever situation, it was it was tough. It's just difficult. But things are changing for this person. This person just has, this is one of the moments when you just had to tell somebody, like, hold on. Just wait. Like, hold on. It's coming. Like, you know? And then that's when that person has to have faith. And they have to be able to trust. You know? Temperance. It's not like this person shouldn't be doing whatever it is with this devil energy. But it's like. They know, they've learned about moderation. They've learned about harmony, bringing things into their life that bring harmony, right? Through this temperance, okay? Through the temperance energy, you learn that, okay? And this person is aware of that. What what it takes to bring harmony back into their life. What it takes to bring uh, balance, just period, right? Um, back into their life. And I feel like they're going to choose that, but it's just on their own time, what I'm getting, page of wands, okay, this person could be like normally the life of the party or something like that, like everybody goes to this person for advice or a pick me up or, you know, to make them feel better and that's how it is, you know, who heals the healer um, is what I'm getting, right, and this person has to this is just one more moment in, in this person's life where they have to learn how to, you know, be the healer for themselves. And again, this is going to um, help them learn how to deal with challenge, you know. 
So it's somebody could have been dealing with challenge for a very long time. You know, like a really long time, like over a decade, over a 10 period, 10 year period, you know. Yeah, because this number 17 is sticking out to me. So this could have even been like 17 years or something like that. Or like a really long time this person has been in this despair, this energy. And they just want to come out of it so bad. Like this person is just like, ugh, fuck. They're like, well, what else am I going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like. moon yeah i'm strongly talking to a cancer or a piscean this could be a scorpio but those are the, the signs i'm getting it doesn't have to be take what resonates there's an unseen change a surprise coming to this person I feel like this person feels like whatever is coming that's going to change their fortune into a more fortunate situation. They feel like it's not happening fast enough. Honestly, like that's what got this person in this. I don't want to say a pity party, but it just got this person in this. I did say that earlier, but I'm just saying it got this person in a real bad funk. And for the most part, it's hard for this person to really just, you know, like not indulge you know and whatever that is for this person and these obsessions or addictions or whatever they are and it doesn't even have to be like really bad it could just be like it could be minor or it could be major right so when it comes to the devil so it just depends but somebody i feel like it does bring them bad health or just you know, it could be like mentally is what I'm getting. You know, mentally it could bring this person like to a really bad place mentally. And it's a place that maybe they vowed they would never return or something, right? And now they find themselves back there, right? So this is kind of like a uphill battle, you know, this person trying to learn how to not live in despair, you know, despite their current situation, just keeping it dead ass real, right? I see something very significant in the spring happening for somebody. Yeah, past life issue. Yeah, so somebody could be dealing with something that they did in the in the past life, the past person that they used to be. They could be dealing you could be dealing with like circumstances of that and it's making it really heavy. You know, your current situation. Um the angels are requesting that you sing and dance and um do this sort of thing with your body that um invites in that good energy that good lighted hearted energy um express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of music and movement okay guardian angel you are not alone Somebody, it's like, th whoever this is, somebody is like, this person is a prayed person or they pray or they set intentions, what have you. But it's like somebody else prays for this person too. It's like somebody's praying for you too. Like somebody else is like working to, you know, change the situation for this person who's experiencing this despair. Because it's like this person... Fate has decided. When when you see the will of fortune, fate. This is fate. This is destiny. Step in the fuck in. Okay. All right. That's enough. You've had enough. Now things must change and go the opposite way. So this person knows it's coming. They're intuitively, they're psychic even this person. They know this change is coming. 
But in the meantime, in between time, this person, I guess they're really just indulging just to pass the time is what I'm getting. I don't want to say it's a bad thing, but it's just like <laughs> maybe spirits is nudging you like, hey, you know, you're better than that for whatever, you know, it is. For some of us here, it's like <laughs> the spirit is just saying that like, hey, we're better than that. You know what I'm saying? You're stronger than that. You've overcome something and you don't have to go back. Okay. When things get hard. Okay. When things get difficult, you don't have to return to the past, okay? It's safe to move forward. Yeah. Hermit. Retreat and recharge. Someone needs to take a break. Retreat and recharge and, like, really, like, zone out and kind of zen out, you know? Be alone to yourself a little bit more. You know, to really see how your future is changing. You know what I'm saying? And change sometimes, is, is, it can be unpleasant. It can be challenging. It can be difficult. Especially when you're psychic and you can see the future, but you're stuck in your current situation. You see what I'm saying? That's what a lot of people got to understand. A lot of us is psychic. <laughs> so it's like you can see your future, but you're stuck in the current situation. What do we do? <laughs> You be a fucking warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. That's what you do. Okay? You be a warrior. You stand fearless and you stand strong. This is what our guides are telling us. Our ancestors are telling us, y'all. Tell me you hear me. Tell me you hear me. Take that hermit time. Don't do the bullshit in your hermit time. Take that hermit time to heal, to activate the warrior within your warrior needs to activate right now, whoever this message is for, okay? Chill medicine, make plans and focus. You already see the future. You got to get ready to make plans for the future. There's not going to be any success if you don't plan for it. So make plans and focus. Right now, whatever you're indulging in with the devil, it could be blocking you from making plans and focusing. And I think that that's really more of what this person is worried about. You know what I'm saying? That's what they wanted to avoid. So whoever's in despair, you know what I'm saying, to avoid that. Make plans. Focus on, focus back. Become that warrior spirit. Be fearless and stand strong. And make those plans and focus. So you can move, remove um, yourself from this energy of despair. Because it's some sort of good news. Huge change. That's coming. That's about to change your situation upside down. Like, whatever your situation was, it's about to change it. Especially a terrible situation. Because that's what I'm getting. I don't want to say terrible, but it's like, this is painful. This is painful. I can't lie. Like, this is how the person feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? So, this is about to be over. And I know right in your current situation, you psychic, you can see that it's going to change. So it's like you have to use, you have to use that. To use that um, sight to be your compass right now to guide you into what energy you need to be expressing, invoking, okay, to have the best results. All right. So that's enough. Let's get some more messages from the spirit guys, our angels and ancestors. Gratitude. Thanks, cat. Fire garden, guardian, ignite your passions. Yes, yeah, some of y'all, I'm telling you, it's called, um, this isn't avoiding distractions. This is creating unnecessary distractions like 
going into your passions to ignite your your passions going into the things that you enjoy doing during that meditative time remember i said go into that hermit energy and and let it give you the download that you need so you can find out what it is that you're you're passionate about right now some of you guys got passions things you want to do in life you know what i'm saying let's go what else all this good ancestors guys angels angel <laughs> stop <laughs> heart chakra somebody is also reeling or <sighs> stuck in this energy where they feel like they want to forgive one of their parents. I'm getting somebody wants to forgive one of their parents or need to forgive. Someone needs to forgive their parent. There needs to be a forgiveness for the parent. Be open to giving and receiving love, whoever you are. Okay. Be open to giving and receiving love. You deserve love too. Alright. Let's get us one of these. Let's see. Yeah, a leg up. Ooh. One of the fall on the floor. A leg up. Co-create very soon. Bam! That's all I gotta say. Car drop. <laughs> very soon. Didn't I say this person can see it psychically? Very soon that they're about to be out of this situation. But it's tough. So that's why I'm saying clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. This is true manifesting. You have to stop seeing your current situation and see the situation that you desire. That's the proper manifestation. Co-create, okay? You're co-creating with the divine whenever you manifest, whatever. Whether you're aware of it or not. And you're getting a leg up. You're getting... Help, support from the divine. Okay? They're giving you a leg up to what you're co-creating. You have paid your karmic debt. The will of fortune is also about karmic debt. You have to understand that this is now over for you. After the will of fortune, there's justice. Why that comes is because the karmic debt is released. It's paid off. So now it's justice. Okay? Now it's balanced the way it should be. So for a past deed, maybe you were facing... You did... You had to pay an offense. You had to pay a karmic debt for that offense. So now that that karmic debt... Uh, weight has been paid off and full things are changing will of fortune understand me very soon please decide what it is you want let's get one more truth be told bottom of the deck okay let's get one more truth be told <laughs> ah shabby shabby thank you guys all right, what else? Need something good for this reading because I know we need it. Clean it up. I can't make it up. They say clean it up. Okay, your guys, your spirit, they're asking you to clean it up. Whatever it is with this devil, clean it up because you know better. Whatever this indulgence is, all right? I'm not going to get too specific. It could be whatever. We all have obsessions. We all have addictions. We all have... There's nobody on this earth that doesn't have them, all right? So whatever they are for you, all right? Spirit is saying, take a look at that, all right? Because retrogrades do bring back those addictions and obsessions to see if we truly conquer them, right? And that's certainly the energy we're under, right? Oh, we're in. 
definitely know we're in it. I don't know about under it, but we're definitely in it. <laughs> Anything else, Holy Spirit? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations, this could be the one. Remember I said in the beginning, somebody's waiting on communication, but this person is in communication, communicating. This person knows that you're the one. And I'm sorry that they're giving you such a hard fucking time. Really, they're sorry. I'm just apologizing for them because I'm giving you a reading, right? They'll tell you later on what it is. They'll confirm it, what I'm saying. But yeah. Yen, I'm trying to tell you. Here and now, okay? Yen energy, divine feminine energy is coming and telling the masculine, like, hey, let's just be in the now. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's be in the now. Da -da -da. And this person is too far in the future. Sometimes you have to be in the now. You know what I'm saying? You're manifesting for the future, but you also have to be very present. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't forget about the present you in right now. Like, don't forget about that part. Like, meaning like, do the practical stuff. The regular mundane stuff. But do it in excellence. And appreciate stuff. And as you're in that energy, you're manifesting for your future. Because you will be making future plans and goals and things of that nature right so it's about right now getting your energy right you know i feel like divine feminine energy is trying to you know tell the divine masculine energy like you know what we could be doing right now you know to get ahead right and um maybe this divine masculine is like a little hard-headed you know but this, this masculine needs to understand that you deserve love and that the divine masculine is lovable. The divine feminine struggles with this, this as well. That's why the divine feminine is coming in, I feel like, right now to aid someone. So there's somebody that needs to write somebody or, like, communicate, email, something. There's some sort of communication that needs to happen because it's, like, stifling this person. Um... In an emotional aspect. You know what I'm saying? This person is blocked. And, and you know. Fucking with addictions and obsessions. And lower vibrations. Be all because of this person not wanting to express. Their deep emotions. That's been like buried. Remember I said that the year 17. The number 17. It could be like the number 17. Like somebody's been dealing with for a long time. Like 17 years I got for some people. Damn. Fork in the road. It's time for this person to make a decision. It's like right now, everything is pointing to this person, telling them like, "Hey, let's make a decision." You've been. I let you. I look, spirit, the guys, everybody. Like, look, we let you wallow in your your mess and your sadness for long enough. Now it's time. I need you to make a choice because you're constantly manifesting when i say that you're constantly manifesting co-creating with the divine you're constantly doing that whether you're aware of it or not right and so right now they need you to have that energy like divine feminine was saying right that was one of your guys too right trying to assist you to tell you like hey it's time to make a particular choice hey it's time to make a, a particular move right Go the distance, okay? This is all about going the distance, all right, for this person. Not being afraid to go the distance by just emotionally. A, didn't I say this person was a past life relationship? This is a past life relationship. Where else did I get that card? I seen this somewhere. Past life in a whole nother deck. Past life relationship. 
You deserve love. Calling in your fucking soulmate. This person who they afraid to communicate or it's not even afraid. They're not afraid. It's just they don't want to. Because then this person feels like they're not where they want to be financially or some shit like that. So they feel like, well, if I'm not at my particular financial level, then I can't like be worried about all this shit in the future and all of this stuff. But it's like, if you think like that, then you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have what it is you want because you have to make a decision in order to change the circumstances, the events. You know what I'm saying? Somebody might have put... Honestly, I'm going to keep it real. Let me tell you another thing about this reading. Somebody pulled back from communication because they knew that this person was their soulmate. Just period. This person pulled back in communication. They knew that you were their soulmate and that they knew that they deserve love, but this person wasn't in the energy to receive that. And so they pulled back because they weren't able to receive that. It's not that nobody wasn't showing them love. They weren't able to receive that. And just as a person of integrity, this is a person of integrity. Like, look, like believe that this person has a lot of integrity. Whoever this reading is for, they like, look, I'm not about to take you down with me while I'm going through what I'm going through. Okay? And people with integrity and people with... You know, I want to say, like, boundaries, right? Um, healthy boundaries, right? Um, they didn't want to take you through that. So this could have been somebody doing, like, a long period of time, locked up. This could have been somebody, like, just going through a long phase in their addiction or obsession. This could have been all of these things, right? But this person knows that they're your soulmate. Just period. And you do too. And I feel like somebody's never given... Whoever the feminine is has never given up on the masculine. Can I say that? Or maybe the feminine never gave up on the feminine. The masculine never gave up on the masculine. Right? Someone never gave up. Period. Imagine. See what I'm saying? This person like is stuck. They don't even want to imagine nowadays. They don't even want to think. It's like they're dealing with something, something of the mundane world. It's like they got a schedule, a structure, something they got like abide by. And it's like they like, damn, this is a never ending story or something like something that keeps happening over and over. And they're just so tired of it. It brings them great despair, it brings them great pain, whatever this is. This could deeply be to do with things or things that they did when they were addicted. Things that they did when they were obsessed. Like maybe this person's not anymore, but like they used to be. I'm getting that too for some. Like they dealing with past, like I said, with the uh with the uh will of fortune, it was like past transgressions, right? Dealing with the things that they did when they were in a fucked up spot. And now that they're not, they're like trying to rectify the situation but it's like they, they need to basically decide now that they deserve love and open up communication that's the first step that's really what this is all about just opening up communication it's not like you they needed to do anything else but just open up some sort of communication that was the blockage truly Okay, so this person can receive milk and honey, passion, and express their love. I'm telling you, didn't I say that before I even flipped them cards? <sighs> yeah. Let me get my ass. I'm going to find out where they at in their head. I'm going to find out where everybody at. A little more. Oh. Thank you for the follows. Oh, shit. Doubt. Ooh. So that's painful. That could keep a lot of people. This person, too, could be like, I don't know if it's just a mustard seed of doubt, but this person needs to erase any sort of doubt that this person has over this 
situation. Or it could be like, two, I'm getting this person not communicating. This divine masculine not communicating with the divine feminine is making this divine feminine feel like maybe they doubt that we're soulmates or maybe we doubt the connection. Like they're maybe they're trying to purposely create some sort of illusion about y'all not being soulmates by not communicating. Like maybe they're trying to make you believe that, but you know intuitively otherwise. I make it up not. That's what I feel like the communicate the lack in communication is like they're trying to give you a doubt, like trying to make you doubt what you know and what they know. Like, let me see if this works. God, I'm telling you, this person's having a reformation happening around their whole life, their whole heart. This person's having a dark night of soul. I swear to God. Them not having communication, being in this hermit energy, is a time when they have their greatest rebirths, their greatest reformations in their uh, epiphany moments, you know? And that's why they have to go through this right now to find out for themselves. Because Divine Feminine has been telling them, Spirit's been telling them, Ancestors been telling them, everybody's telling them, but they're the only ones needing this type of con convincing obviously right even though they probably even know intuitively in their gut and everything is showing up physically right but they're not listening so that's why they're having this deep reformation right now in the soul because this was just destined for these soulmates to come together period so this person is having a really deep moment right now where they're getting a lot of clarity. They also could be facing a lot of adversity too. That um, situation with them has them in despair. But well, see, the honesty is going to be the truth, the true clarity. When this person finally wakes up and is honest with themselves, that's when the rebirth can happen. But they have to be honest with themselves. I feel like this person, when they finally wake up, they're going to laugh about it. It's going to be funny to them. Like, yo, <laughs> you were right. <laughs> we were right. <laughs> Hate <to> say it. <laughs> you know, some shit like that. Like, for real. Yeah. And I feel like this person, it, and like they carry a lot of guilt because they know. Somebody is guilty because they know. I'm telling you, a pure friendship. You feel me? They know. They know. Purpose. Come on. They know who you are. You align to their purpose, this friendship. Come on. Happiness. Get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah. All the way that way. This person knows. They know for sure. Somebody's just holding back. Because they can't have it in the, in the physical right now. So they're holding back. You know how somebody would be like, oh, I'm making plans. Like this person feels like, I want to make plans. I want to I I wanna do this. I wanna. But like you have to make the plans now. You can't wait till tomorrow. To be like, I'm going to make a plan with this person. Your soulmate. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate fucking connection. Period. This is not. A situation where, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody you don't, you have to fucking wonder and find out. Like, this is truly a soulmate connection. You don't have to wait and find out. And somebody's afraid because, like I said, they can't have it physically. So they fucking, you know what I'm saying? Waiting, waiting, waiting and like causing all of these other problems. For them, mostly mentally. And this other person. They trying to like throw them off. Or make them think something. like, But it's not even like that. They trying to see like if somebody for real. Like test if somebody loyal. Trying to also test somebody's loyal heart or something. It's crazy. Because it's like. Whoever is in this person's life. Are loyal to this person. 
Or these people think about this person all of the time. This could be somebody who likes to overcomplicate things. That's what I'm getting as well. Somebody who's overcomplicating the situation. A lot of people don't know like that they uh biggest th problem be sometimes they'll overcomplicate a situation. My favorite saying is kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Because the more complicated you try to make it, the like the harder it is for people to like to understand it. And it doesn't have to be that complicated, like whatever this is. That's just me. But that's what I'm getting for this channel. Message, let me know how you like this one down below. I love y'all. Bye.